With Reggie Lecky Elite Raid Day happening tomorrow, I feel like this is a perfect time to talk about why Elite Raids have got to go. Or, they need to do some serious overhauling to make the event actually worth doing and make it worth people's time and money. Honestly, Elite Raids have to be one of the most disappointing events ever introduced in Pokemon Go in quite a long time. The raids literally only spawn for 30 minutes at 3 different times during the day, 11 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and 5 o'clock. And once you complete the raids, you're supposed to be getting rare spawns around that gym once you beat it for 15 minutes but the problem with that is during the reggie drago elite raid day i saw all over twitter and experienced it myself literally nothing spawned at all during that 15 minute time span so i just don't think the rare spawns are even happening i think it's just a myth that niantic is spreading honestly some false propaganda so with the raids only lasting 30 minutes once they hatch and the rare spawns lasting 15 minutes after you finish a raid you either have to choose between doing more raids and missing out on the rare spawns that honestly might not even happen or you only do one or two raids during that time span and honestly that might be the only raids that you get to do during the entire day because you can't even remote raid these if you live in a rural area and don't have people that you play with or people in your community that play like if you're the only person you ever see going out and playing pokemon go you just can't participate in this event you're just screwed entirely niantic especially with the remote raid changes you're just screwed entirely in pokemon go Go, and I'm sorry to say that. The only way a rule player can actually play during elite raids, honestly, is if they spoof. But if you don't spoof, like I said, you're just screwed. And another reason that doesn't make this event worth participating in is the fact that every single Pokemon that has appeared in elite raids so far have not been shiny eligible or even meta relevant. Because I believe the only ones that have spawned in elite raids have been Hoopa Unbound, Reggie Lucky, and Reggie Drago. All of them not meta relevant whatsoever, not even meta relevant in PvP, and no shiny is even available and even though shiny isn't available for reggie drago and reggie lucky their shiny suck so i mean it wouldn't really make a difference anyway in my opinion the only thing that the pokemon that i've been good for in these elite raids is just to complete the pokedex that is it it's kind of ridiculous that niantic thought this was a great idea for events but you know that's just classic niantic for you but what can niantic do to make these events better well that's why i'm here because i have a few ideas that i think would make this event 10 times better than they already are now i don't think niantic is ever gonna do this but hey these are just my thoughts on how to make this event better the first thing i would change is make the raid times longer and less time focused i think it would be so much better if the elite raids lasted from 30 minutes to 45 minutes somewhere in that time range and once they hatch they continuously hatch between the times of 11 to 5 just like during events such as go fest or the go tour events it would honestly allow people to actually go out and play and feel better about playing longer because right now with elite raids they hatch at 11 o'clock, 2 o'clock, and 5 o'clock, and once those raids are done for that time period, you have to wait another two and a half hours before you're actually able to raid more, and honestly, that just makes it not worth it, honestly, especially for non-meta relevant Pokemon and Pokemon that can't even be shiny. But having the raids hatching continuously between 11 and 5 o'clock will allow people to continuously play and enjoy themselves rather than just sitting around and waiting for 90% of the time and hoping that the people that they played with earlier are still hanging around and will actually do the raids later in the day it just doesn't work out the next thing i would change is putting better and rarer pokemon in elite raids now i really don't think niantic is gonna do this but so far the only pokemon we have had in elite raids have honestly been pretty lackluster to say the very least so far we've only gotten hoopa unbound reggie drago and reggie lucky now hoopa unbound's pretty cool but it has no use whatsoever and like i said earlier none of them are meta relevant whatsoever it would be so much better if they put pokemon into elite raids that were available during like limited time research and actually meta relevant such as Zarude into elite raids because trust me if Zarude was in elite raids I'd be out there playing the entire day trying to get more candy for that Pokemon or even other mythical Pokemon such as Mew, Celebi, Jirachi or even Victini just to name a few. Now I know those aren't super meta relevant Pokemon but hey they're really rare Pokemon and only come around maybe once or twice during special research and if you miss out on them you just can't get them so it'd be cool if they brought those Pokemon back in elite raids maybe one or twice or something like that just so people could actually get those pokemon the third thing i would change is to allow remote raiding to be used on these raids now i don't ever see niantic allowing remote raiding to happen during elite raids especially after the recent changes that they've had with the remote raid passes but we're not going to get into that but if they did this it would make it feel like niantic actually cares about the rule players during events like this where it's 
in-person focused when a lot of people I know for a fact don't have an in-person community to actually do events like this. But if Niantic is going to put non-metal relevant and non-shiny eligible Pokemon into these raids, they should at least let people remote raid them from anywhere they are instead of forcing people to actually go out and get these Pokemon that honestly 99% of people don't even want. Like yeah, Reggie Lucky and Reggie Drago are cool, but are they even worth going out and sitting around and raiding for 30 minutes and then waiting another two and a half hours just in hopes that there are actually people still around to do those raids with? No. They are not. And the last thing that I would do to make elite raids better is by making the Pokemon shiny eligible. It's not that hard, Niantic. Give us the shinies. Imagine doing these raids and going after a shiny Victini, shiny Mew, or even a shiny Hoopa. If they're not gonna put meta relevant Pokemon into these elite raids, at least make them shiny eligible to actually give us something worth hunting. Because Reggie Drago and Reggie Lecky, they're not good. <laughs> I know I keep on saying that, but I'm just trying to get that point across. Because honestly, if the Pokemon isn't meta relevant, or shiny eligible, these raids aren't worth doing. They're a waste of time, waste of money, and especially the fact that Reggie Lecky Elite Raid Day tomorrow is on Easter Sunday, it just gives people more of a reason not to do it. Mainly because people are going to be busy with celebration and stuff like that, but like, I don't understand why Niantic just doesn't release the shinies in these raids, but I guess Niantic doesn't want us to have nice things, and that just shows with the recent remote raid changes. That's just my thoughts on the Elite Raids and what I would do to have them better in my opinion. I feel like 99% percent of people feel the same way so I just kind of wanted to get my voice out there share my share some information with you guys and also I am most likely not doing Reggie Lucky Elite Raid Day tomorrow so don't expect a video on that I have plans I have stuff to do plus it's just not worth it <laughs> it's, it's a terrible Pokemon so I probably will not be out recording a video so don't expect one but if you made it this far in the video comment down below let me know what you would change differently than what I would change for Elite Raids and if you enjoyed the video be sure to like comment subscribe all those those good things and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace